Hi friends, in this video we will talk about how to write a bisection method code for MATLAB. So if you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's get started. First you have to write the commands of close all, clear all and CLC as usual. And whenever you will run your code, it will automatically just clear your command window every time. So now you have to write the command of uh, in which you are just taking a mathematical function as an string and then you have to just take f equals to inline of f which is just converting your string mathematical string into a function for any number of variables that you have defined in your string and then you have to just define your interval in which your root is lying so a is the starting value of the interval and your b is the ending value of the interval and then you have to just take a allowed error so then you have to just take a g equals to f of a and f of b which is uh, f of a is negative or something or sometimes it's positive and similarly for f of b sometimes it's negative and sometimes it's positive so if just for my satisfaction i am just writing these commands if you don't like it please don't write it and then you have to just check condition which is a uh, product of f of a and f of b which is less than zero so if f of a product with f of b is less than zero it means your root is lying between a and b and then you have to just take a for loop and then you have to just see take c equals to a plus b over 2 and then you have to check your condition so by putting the value of c in your given function so if f of c is equal to 0.00, .00 then your loop will be terminated and uh, for if this condition will not satisfied so it means that you have to just uh, take some other condition so else if f of a product with f of c which is less than 0, 0.00 then your b value is equals to c and if this condition will not satisfy then else equals c and similarly for if uh, f of b product with f of c which is less than 0, 0.00 then your a is equivalent to c similarly if this condition will not satisfy then else b equals c and uh, now your for loop would be ended here so until your for loop is working whenever c is equals to 0.00 and uh, then uh, you have to just just print your uh, root here and which is the root of the equation is uh, c and if this condition f of a product with f of b is not satisfied this condition then your root will not be lied in between a and b so for that you have to just else you have to print no root exists between this and this interval so this is your now you have to this is your complete bisection method code now you have to just run it so now uh, I am giving this some function which is x is squared minus 2 now you have to just uh, take a first value of interval here I am taking 3 and uh, the end value of the interval is 0 0.01 and your error is 0 0.001 now your root is 1.4 something so it means uh, your root is uh, root of the equation is 1.41 and similarly you have to just run it again and check some for other functions like uh, sine sine of x and uh, plus exponential so exponential in which I am taking x 
so your function is like so this is your function and then you have to just take 0 0.01 is the, the starting value of the interval and your ending value of the interval let's say is 2.5 so and the error is 0 0.01 so no root is exists between this and this interval so I have to just run it again and giving the some interval in which your in which the root is lying so this is your com uh, now you have to just put any function so it will give you the root of uh, that equation that you have put in so hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching